Hello, everybody. Welcome to tonight's edition of Lockdown Day Live Discussion. Today, we are having a discussion. It's no more. And now, Ponsan, welcome. Today we'll be having a discussion. <laughs> yes, it will be a discussion and we'll do a giveaway. So stay tuned. As you come in, don't forget to drop your thumbs up. Yes, Anna, you missed yesterday. I'm sure it was your network. Sorry, eh? Sorry about that. And today, I'll be showing much more of my face. Yep, more of my face than just that, because we'll be having a discussion. So, if you're in here, don't forget your thumbs up. Yo, Shegun. Um, no, um, it's my, my connection. OBS was misbehaving, so I had to restart and restart it till now. So, forgive the young man. Forgive us all. Nah. Today we'll be having a discussion. Yeah, discussion. I won't teach. We'll have a discussion. Everybody will get involved. Every day I'm the one talking. Today we'll all talk. So be prepared. Yeah. I pray the network like behaves. Otherwise, wahala. Okay, so I'm sure you guys can see me here. <laughs> Shegun, you are very, very wicked. Hey, Shegun, where is my iPhone 11 Pro? My iPhone 11 Pro. Where is it? Behave. -o. So yes, as I said, today we'll be having discussions about photography, the business aspect of photography, how to make money out of photography. You see? Today, you guys will be seeing my Moses face, plenty, plenty, plenty Moses face. No one should laugh. If you laugh, I'll do you something. Ah, how can you send it today and I'll receive it yesterday? See, Shegun, you better behave. Oh. You better behave. True. What kind of life is that? Nobody should laugh at me. Nobody should laugh at my Moses. If you laugh at my problem for you, 
so don't don't even try it otherwise wahala yeah wahala for you if you laugh at me so we'll be having discussions as usual i'm doing the sharing i'm sharing the link into the various photography groups so once the thing gets there then we will start our discussion anna behave anna why are you laughing behave uh, true what is that how can you laugh at me my moses face Stop it, cry before I give you punishment. Okay, so guys, today we are going to discuss the business aspect of photography. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm here. Look at me. One nice young man. See what I've become. Moses. So just bear with me. Let me turn on this uh, selfie light. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now this is fun. This is my little light over here on top of me like this. Yeah, so you guys can see my face well. well. Yeah, my Moses face. See, I'm, uh, on a normal day, I'm not like this, so, but Charlie, I have to look like this because of this um, lockdown. You, William Borting, what's up? No, Chegun. Anna is not on Instagram. She's not on any social media network. <laughs> Ellie Plim, what's up? Uh, William, what happened? Charlie, yes, we are going to talk about uh, the business aspect of photography. How you should ha uh, handle it. You know, if you started as a hobby, by now, after some few years in the industry, you should uh, convert it into a business. Unless, of course, you don't buy... Yo, Sela, what's up? What's up, Charlie? <laughs> see, see, brother, man. Eh? You know if you recognize me again, Seth. Eh? Oh, what is this? Eh, SMO. Anyways, me. Today you will see more of this because we are discussing. Uh, today no retouching, unless of course somebody wants me to show a specific thing. Aside that, but you Sela, your own more past my own. <laughs> You won't pass my whole crap, so make you don't laugh me. What's it? Sean, they laugh me. Uh, hey, just now you are showing us key and feel. Oh, please, uh, this is not key light. It's uh, some small selfie light. Me. Let me see. Let me show you guys what it is. It came with, see, this is what it looks like. See? So it comes on, you can turn it off. This is it. It's a selfie, something. You put it, it comes with the phone. You put it behind your phone, like there's a clamp. You just clip it to your phone, and then it becomes a light. So that's what I'm using here to illuminate my face. I think it's simple because I'm supposed to be brighter than this. I bought uh, my Smooth 4 when I bought it from AliExpress. The seller added it as a gift see so it's now being useful i did the top <laughs> left there <laughs> uh Sarah. my own i know if you do i know if you go to melcom team no hey cassie welcome cassie it's so bad the network is that bad that we can't even have a um, thingy here it's that bad yeah even this one i'm not sure it will be that uh, you know 
in fact but then let's let's just give it a try those coming don't forget to drop your thumbs up mine i can't do anything about it because the scissors i have is is so blunt and uh what else yeah the blade charlie i can't i have a pack of blade here see one pack there's uh five in it but i can't use it charlie i can't use blade on my beard i'll get uh uh, laser bombs and all those things so Charlie I've given up on that one but for now till further notice this is me Moses and I Aaron <laughs> or Abraham any one of them that year. let's talk about um, photography now if you've been doing this for some time now Charlie I'm sure by now you would have decided that you would have decided yes um Cassie what's up you would have decided that you either want to continue as a charity thingy or you want to make money out of it see if you choose to continue as a charity thingy good luck all the best Oh, okay, Cassie, you have good network now. Oh, Charlie, that is good for... Is it the same uh, table net you're using? Because mine is not yet back. It's still not uh, behaving well. So, yes, if, you, if you've decided that it will still be um, a charity thing, Charlie, congratulations. It's good. But then, if you decide, well, now you've, uh, you've tasted this whole thing and you want to... Uh, you want to move from just being a, just a hobby, something that you're just doing to a business, then Charlie, this is the right place. Let's, uh, let's discuss it. Now, I am not a business person. I'm much more of a technical person. As you guys know, my background is IT. So I know much more about the technical aspects. The business side, Charlie... I can't convince somebody to patronize my services. I'm like, you know you need my services, so why do... Oh, this light, is that how you are? Why do I have to convince you to use my service when you know it will help you? I'm thinking of getting a charger. Okay, hold on. Let me just pick the charger and see if I connect the charger, the light will be brighter. Uh, these people, which, what kind of scamming is this? Hold on one second. Let me grab the. Okay. I hope you guys didn't see anything. <laughs> All right. Um, where is the thingy? Okay. Let me connect it here and see. Okay. Awesome. I think the battery was dying. I plugged it in and now. Hey, what is this? See, guys, how bright it is now. Yeah. Hey, Anna, behave. What are you talking? Hey, this is too much. Okay. Ah, uh -uh. what from this cable? <laughs> yeah, so oh, hold on. Let me switch this thing. let me put it here so i think the battery was dying so this thing is powerful though. it's much more powerful than i thought okay so let's hide the cable somewhere here is it still showing uh, hold on. okay now the cable is no more showing yeah it's no more showing so this light is very powerful you guys should all get one Imagine you have this on your phone. See, now I'm getting proper light. Yeah. Those of you think, see, I'm not high. It's just that I've been behind the screen since morning. That's why my eyes are like this. I'm not high. Please. <laughs> I don't smoke. Drink and cry. I don't, I'm not sure that they drink. Unless once in a while. Um, yes, I will assist with the business side. Okay, all right. So, Cassie, I really wish I could you know, call you on Zoom so that we continue this. But, Charlie, my network, but well, we can give it a try. If you are ready, let me know. So I call you on Zoom and then see if we can project it. Otherwise, the network is that bad, man. See? See? 
things are like I don't know if let me check. Even what I'm using to monitor and put it's it's buffering and doing all kind of things. Yeah, so if you you've chosen to do it as a hobby, like be a, a charity at this moment, fine, no problem. Continue. Maybe you don't buy your gear or you have some money stashed somewhere free of charge that you use to do your day-to-day -day activities. But if um, yours is to make money out of this, you know, photography thing, then Charlie, let's discuss it. Uh, uno secondo. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. And oh yes, at uh, 15 thumbs up, we'll give away five CDs worth of airtime. So stay tuned. And then what else? What else do we have? Um, she wants, I keep beard to get shampoo, beard oil, and face conditioner. Um, I have, there's this thing. There, you know, Telly is a naturalist and something. Too. She gave me this oil beard. See, so that's what I use it in my beard. And then I massage my scalp with uh, shea butter every morning when I take my bath. So you see, I keep it clean. Ha ha ha. Shogun, I keep it clean, yeah? It's always clean. Yes, yeah, so if, if you want to... Turn this thing into a business, something that you make uh, money out of. Then let's discuss it. Please, I'm not the only one supposed to be talking. If you have uh, anything to discuss, you can type it in. So I'll be talking and then typing in so that, you know, everybody will get involved. This is a discussion. It's not me teaching you, Bob. Because when it comes to business, Charlie, I don't know much about business. Mine is not business. I'm a technical person. Hmm? So, so I'll be talking and then typing in as well, so that in case um, yeah, you miss it, you can just. Uh, read it so guys let's uh, get interactive first of all what you need to know when you decide to go like you know business you want to start your photography as a business you need a company you need to register a company or something like that yes you I'm sure you already have a name so you need to register that as a company so you can uh, what's up call? What's up call? But wait, what's up? Wait, what's up call? How do I get what's up call on to... Uh, you know, uh, Shagun, if you call on WhatsApp, I can't uh, project it on here. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. Cassie, I understand. If you call on camera, I can't uh, project it here. I... Uh, Yes, yeah, so first of all, when you decide to make it a business, you have a business name. So second thing is you register your business and then legitimize it. There are ways to file your tax and all that. So if, if you fall within that range, you start paying your tax. You have, so that's it. Um, register your business. If you want to deal with uh, corporate uh, bodies, Charlie, you need to register your business. There are certain uh, corporate entities. If your business is not registered, they won't deal with you. If um, you are not paying tax, they won't deal with you. You have, So you need to. You need to 
register your business and do the right thing yeah what else do we have here uh -uh, what am i seeing here this is an okay i can't even monitor that thing okay so so far how is the network behaving are we still having chubby network or is it getting better Or still misbehavior. I know the light is very good on my face, so for that we are good. Okay, so register your company. Make sure you have uh, you know legal papers, legal documentation, so that when your you know anytime you present yourself, they know that yes they are working with. Uh, okay, William, the network is good, awesome. So when you present uh, maybe um, your how do I even call it your proposal, they know that they are dealing with um, um, a, a company. They know that they can trust you because. Dealing as an individual has uh, some disadvantages. If the person runs away with your money, how do you get your money back? So it's the same way as if before you um, get someone's services, you want to know if... Oh, okay, okay, all right. The audio is good at your end. Awesome. If you want to engage somebody, you want to know the person's background, you want to know if the person is legit. Now, if your company is registered, that alone tells the people that, okay, this guy is legit because, you know, he has a company registered. That's the first thing. Second thing is you need to get a bank account because certain uh, clients wouldn't want to pay you cash. The thing is, it's not even wise. It's not advisable. It's not prudent for you as a business person to be taking cash. You get it? I, I have that sentiment, you know, like... You go do a shoot and after, you know, your client counts money and puts in your hand, you know, it's like, it's not right. It's not, that's me. That's what I think. It's not right. It's like minimum wage, you know, they go work and then they count money and put in their hand. Sometimes you finish the gig and your client says, oh, hold on, I'm coming. Let me go and get you money. Then they now go around, you know, collecting money piece, piece to come put in your hands and all that. Sometimes you have to wait for an hour before your money is ready for you to leave the venue. That's bad. So make sure you have a bank account. And Charlie, if you're, you send an invoice to your clients, they ask you, how do we send it? You tell them, pay into my bank account. Charlie, it, 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 it uh, elevates you. It makes you, you know, your clients get to know that you're, you're a professional. Because, yes, only professionals will have bank accounts for their business. And for uh, when I say bank account, I'm not saying your personal bank account to create... Hey, Anita, come and shave me. Eh? Madam X speaker, come, come and shave me. Why? Now, you see, I cannot come. See how the beard is plenty, eh? It's disturbing me. It's itching and stuff. Come and shave me. Why? So, yes, by this, don't um, do business private account. Get a business account. Most banks will give you a savings business account or a savings corporate account that you can use for your business. You get it? Don't mix business with pleasure. Aside a bank account, there are digital payment platforms, Express Pay, Palm Pay. Okay, yes, so as um, Cassie is saying, aside bank account, you can use the digital platforms. Me, I use uh, either the bank account or the digital payment system. I tell my client, they, first of all, they ask me, well, how do we make payments. I give them two options. I tell them either Momo or they pay into my bank account. Some of them prefer paying into your bank account because the money can be traced. And it's a good thing for you also. You know, so with that you get to you get a trail of your cash flow. So let's say if you receive all your payments through your bank at the end of the month or at any point in time if you want to know how much your how much money you've made 
within that period, you just request for your bank statement, your statement of account, and you'll be able to tell by just looking at you know the cash inflow. Secondly, having a bank account, you know, helps you secure loans. I'm not a loan person. I'll never go for loan. I'm telling it here. I will never go for loan. I don't. I don't believe in loans. But if you're the kind of maybe you need loan to go buy some gear for a specific job, then you can pay back fine. If your money goes through the bank, your bank knows that oh, this guy always receives his money through the bank and all that. You know, they know that. Anita. Come, come and shave me Why? Look at it. I don't even have a uh, like clipper. I don't have anything to shave it. So come, come and shave it for me. Yes, so if you're going for a loan, your bank knows that, oh, this guy is a business person and he receives his money through his bank account. They can give you that loan. Also, if you want to travel outside the country, having a bank account for your business will help you secure that visa earlier than somebody who doesn't have a bank account because it makes you trustworthy. The embassy knows that you're a business person. You have an account for your business and there's money coming in and going out. So if you tell them you're going to do business in Dubai and come back, it will be easy for you to... If you, you can even tell them you're going to America to, you know, for a visit or for vacation and come back, they know you're a business person. And with your bank account, your business bank account, they will be able to, you know, determine or that you don't have to do anything extra plus your clients see you as some serious business person i mean the coconut sell if you're going to buy coconuts he won't tell you say pay me via momo or pay through my bank account because we know it's a casual business see yeah william boatin thank you thank you you're supposed to we are supposed to learn you're supposed to use this uh, moment to learn the business aspect of photography is what most photographers forget to learn most of them want to learn just retouching. They just want to retouch. Get their, get their, <laughs> William, no, there's no, <laughs> there's no exam. This one there is just learning. Exam be and count, right? So yes, register your business. Get, uh, hi, Ice. How are you doing? This is the second time I'm seeing Ice here. I asked him, this is the second time she's commenting here. I'm sure she's been coming, but hiding. Ice, how are you doing? How is the lockdown treating you? So we are talking about business, the business aspect of photography. So if you have any uh, comments, any suggestions, any contribution, please type it in. I'm not supposed to be the only one talking. Just that the network is misbehaving. That's why I'm the only one talking now. So if you can say, you have anything to say, just type it in and we'll learn from it. So yes, first thing is register your business. Second thing is get a bank account for your business. Third thing is accounting. You should keep record of your cash outflow. Charlie, I'm a culprit. I've been saying this since I started four years ago. And for the past four years, I've been saying it. Every year, I'm like, oh, this year, I'll keep proper records. But Charlie, the money comes, the money goes. I don't keep record. If you're doing that, Charlie, you're, you, you, how do I say Do I say you're dooming yourself or you're hurting your business? Yes, you're hurting your business and yourself. If you don't keep records of your cash in and cash out, Charlie. You're in for failure. I'm still going through it. I'm I'm trying to you know get out of that mess. You get it, but it's not easy. Easier said than done. So keep records of your cash in flow and cash out flow. It's very very necessary. There are many apps that you can use, or if you like, you can. Just use Excel or you can write them down or something. Anyhow you decide to do. Or if you can afford it, get an accountant. Somebody to keep record of your cash stuff. Because Charlie, if you don't do it, the money will come. The money will go. Hey, hello. What's up? How are you doing? How are you doing? Yes, uh, William. Small money come. No equipment are calling. That's the thing. If you are not... Uh, the next point is discipline. If you are not disciplined... You won't be able to, you know, manage your money. That's why, if possible, get somebody to manage your money for you. You can let your girlfriend manage it for you or a friend you trust. You know, when it comes to money, trust is something else. But maybe I, there's somebody you trust or your girlfriend. Bring her into the business. Let her keep your money for you. Not necessarily she keeping the physical money, but she should keep the records. So if you need to buy something, she will ask you a series of questions. If you pass those questions, then it means, yes, you are in your right mind. You need to buy those things. Because as uh, William said, see, 
sometimes somebody calls to yeah hello i'm doing fine i'm doing fine charlie guys as you come in don't forget to drop your thumbs up most of the time see sometimes when somebody calls to even make inquiry they've not given you the gig yet to so just inquiry and <laughs> you've already made plans in your head how you're going to spend that money to buy you know that gear i know it happens sometimes you're getting paid and You've already budgeted, okay. So this, yeah, the gig is thousand CDs. You're like, okay, so this thousand, I'm going to buy a soft box with uh, six hundred. The rest, I'm going to use it to uh, buy um, data and all that. Charlie. Um. Okay, yeah, Elom, Elom, the video. I've not forgotten. Yeah, it's about uh, Dodge and Burn. Is it Dodge and Burn? Only using Dodge and Burn to retouch. I think that's it, right? Otherwise, remind me, yeah. See, so be disciplined. Don't chop your money nyafu nyafu. You know, photographers, we are supposed to be very rich because let's just assume this. Um, every week, you make, let's say, 500 CDs. Let's assume you have no responsibilities. You Maybe you only pay um, bills, light bill. No. See, let's be frank. Most of you guys here don't pay bills. So let's say you have no responsibilities. You make about 500 CDs a week. So that's 500 CDs. What do you use it for? You buy up. Yes, it's your money. So you decide how you want to use it. But if you're running a business, the money is no more yours. It's for the business. I hope you understand. If you're making money through your business, that money is not yours. It's for your business. So don't say, oh, I did a shoot. I got this money, so it's my money. No, it's not yours. It's for your business. That's why it's important to have somebody managing your business finance for you. So you don't interfere with that. See? Let your personal finance be different from your business finance. Separate those two. Don't mix them. Otherwise, it will be disastrous for you. If possible, put yourself on payroll. You know, decide that, okay, since I'm the only one working for the company, this is how much I want to be paying myself for my service. You buy so that money doesn't come in. Let's say you make 500 from a shoot, and your mind is that money is yours. So you put it in your pocket. You buy pizza. You buy the latest um, sneakers. You buy, you know, the latest glasses to wear and all that from that money. No, that money is not yours. It's supposed to be for your business. So learn to separate your personal money from your business. If business, budget for it. Don't just get up and be, you know, impulse buying. Today you're walking in town or you go to to-do and you see a, a nice tripod, so you buy it even though you did not budget for it. No, don't do that. You're browsing, there you see something on GoPixel and, you know, it's nice. And because they are doing a promo or something, you just buy it just like that. Just because you think one day you need it. No, you don't do that. If you do that, child, you will never have money. Like, your money will always be going. Plan. Budget. Don't just be impulse buying. Mm -hmm. See, all these things I'm saying, eh? Me and uh, I'm a corporate. I've been doing them. Ask NK. i just be there call NK and ask Charlie. Or i just go through his list. i see that, oh, NK has this thing. I see, oh, there is money somewhere. I buy it. Even though I don't need it, I buy it. And it's bad. That's because I manage my own uh, money. Business money, personal money. You know, I haven't separated them. So money comes, I buy the nearest gear. Money comes, Charlie Pizza, I bet this and all that. Sure. People do that too. Eh? Sean, people do that. You get it. So at this moment, that you don't have obligations. <laughs> uh, William, NK chop the money, but it be you carry go give him. NK no put gun for your top, say carry your money, car, you bab. So you need to be disciplined to be able to do all these things. You can decide that, okay, this year, these are the things I want to buy. You make a list, you know, write them down. If you don't write them down, it will be difficult keeping track. So write down the things that you need for that particular year. And don't go beyond it unless it is emergency. And then that's another point. Save for emergencies. You know, because Charlie, this this job, you won't make money every single day or every month. Sometimes, Charlie, the whole month, I had dry. Nothing. 
Ibab. So when those times come, how will you survive? Just like now, there is Corona. Nobody is able to go out and go and make money. How do you survive? Do you go back to square one? Or do you have uh, reserves that you fall on? Ibab. So all these things are important. Have a reserve. Every money that comes in, put some down for rainy days. Now let's talk about, uh, am I still here or... I think I'm still here. Yeah, I think I'm still here. I think I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still here. Yes, so anytime money comes in, this is what I used to do. Like, I started with it, but... I don't know what happened. I think along the way, I... <laughs> is it backslided or backslid? One of them. The English people. Where is Madam Anita? Anita, come and tell us. Is it backslide or backs? It's okay. Sometimes along the way, you know, we slide off. So this is what I did. A friend told me that when... he He's not a photographer. Like, he he's into a poultry... So he said what? Anytime he sells a crate of egg or at the end of the month, whatever money he makes, he divides it into three. Yeah, into three, right? Now, the first part is his tight. He takes that. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Chai Ni. Thanks, man. How, how be body? He takes the first, he divides money into three. So the first part is for him. That's his money. You know, he's paying himself one part. The second part, he saves it. Backslide. Oh, okay. So what's the past tense of backslide? Sean, is it backslid or backslided? <laughs> See? So he divides his money into three at the end of the month. The first part is for him. Personal money. Like, he has paid himself. Second part, he saves it. He doesn't touch it. Like, it goes into an account. Savings account. And then the third part is for bills, like anything that has to do with the business and then bills. So if you look at it like that, let's say you do a shoot and you get, uh, let's say, a thousand CDs from that shoot. That whole month, you made thousand CDs. You can decide to do it like that. So thousand CDs divided by three, it's about three... 355 or let's say 360. No, let's say, you know, charges and all those things. So you got 900. 900 divided by 3 is 300 uh, each. So you pay yourself with 300. 300 goes into your savings account. You don't touch it. And then the other 300, you invest it back into the business. I hope you understand it. Photographers, listen to know. When you go and gig and the money comes, don't chop all over. That girl who has been texting you all the time, buy me credits, buy me pizza, I want this bra, I want this shoe, I want this hair, and all that. You know, I beg, save into your business. Do not send that money to that girl. <laughs> yeah? That girl you want to impress. When your business collapses, you'll be nowhere to be found, though. Yo. So divide your money into three. That's what somebody said. Oh. You can also find a formula that works for you. There are some of you who are very religious. So you might want to pay your, your um, tithes before, your offerings and all that. You might want to take them out before you do all these things. Fine. Some too have to pay tax. Depending on the size of your income, you may have to pay tax and all that. Fine. Others too have families that are dependent on them and all that. So they might have another ratio for doing that. It always has to be a girl. Ah, but ice is true. There is always it's always a girl who is, you know, eh? in the Bible, all the great men fell because of girls and women. So it's the same thing. You know, just after that gig, she calls you, honey, I need uh, a new shoe. Honey, I need a new hair. Honey, have you seen this dress on Instagram? I like it. Can you get it for me? And then you to John. You'll be sending Momo. Just like that. Sometimes, cry. you've collected the money from the clients. You've not even done the job yet. 
and that girl will call you and you will send the money to her just like that you've not even thought about your business meanwhile the softbox you are using there are big big rat holes in the softbox you need to change it but no you won't change it because that girl wants it some to invest in flashy stuff like buying a new phone i've been using the same iphone 7 plus for three years now i haven't changed it not because i can't afford to change it but i have other priorities having a new phone isn't part of my priorities you buy if you can afford it part the problem but then don't let your business suffer whilst you chill it's the business that's making money for you so invest into your business you buy Secondly, take up some online courses. Someone like me, I'm not a business person. So what I do is sometimes I go online on YouTube and I search how to market, how to, you know, plan your business and all that. I take those short, short things just so I'll have an idea because I'm not in a position to employ a marketer or a finance person now. You get it. So... I says, what well, you've done well with that phone. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm like that. I use things for, I know how to use things. I use things for the same phone. And it's still here, see? It's the same phone I'm using. I mean, no screen protector, but it's still going. You <laughs> I've not, since I got that phone, I've never put a screen protector on it, but it has never fallen down. The screen hasn't cracked. Nothing, no scratches. If I show it to you, you think I've used it for like a month, but then, that's it. So those coming in, or if you're here and you haven't dropped your thumbs up, please don't forget to do so. At 15 thumbs up, I'll give out airtime. Yes, I promise. For the past two sessions, you guys haven't been following the rules, so nobody got it. So now I have the airtime piled up. So today, if possible, cry, I'll give like 20 CD worth of airtime. So just keep the likes coming. At 15 likes, I'll drop one. 25 likes, I'll drop the other one. So another 10 likes, if you get 35, I'll drop. I'll continue dropping until we are done with today's session. Mm -hmm. So guys, register your business, get a business bank account, manage your finances, take record of your cash in and cash out, spend wisely, don't just uh, spend keke. When that girl calls you that, hey, it's only when she knows you have money that she calls you honey. If she calls you, oh honey, uh, babes. Can I get that shoe? Can I get that hair? Can I get that thing on Instagram? Tell her, no, it has to wait. My business counts first because it's the business that's making you money, not a girl. If she is somebody who is helping you make money, fine. I mean, when the money comes, spend it together. But if she's not part of your money-making process, please take care of your business first. Yeah? Uh, William says, speaking of online courses, they say other streams of income is creating costs, but I always and I'm sure if I do one, someone, <laughs> someone will be pirate. Some of mine will be pirated. So what do we do? Ah, how can I like like ten times? Oh, uh, Noel, you crazy? If you want like ten times, create ten different accounts and take them like. <laughs> yes, piracy. Charlie William, as for piracy, that's how it is. You know, uh, um, this guy is it Gemma or Tim? I think both of them, they've been saying the same thing that, yeah, there is the, there is market for everybody. So, pirates have their market and then the legit people also have their market. The thing is, um, here, over here in uh, this part of the world, it's difficult being legit, like buying stuff and all that. It's difficult. That's why most of the time you see the young kings, you know, getting pirated software and all that. So, there are people like... It depends on your 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 market. So William, if you decide to make um, videos and you target maybe uh, those in UK or those in Europe specifically or those in America, you know those people over there they are law-abiding people. They always buy, so they will buy. But if you make it like for Ghanaians or Africans, actually, you know we hardly buy stuff on that apart from things that we have to buy physically. Or somebody will, other people will even use fake credit cards to buy and you'll be indebted. You buy. So yes, that's it. Where were we before even that uh, that, that came in? Yes. Um, register your business. Two, get a business uh, bank account. Three, manage your cash in, cash out. 
get somebody to manage it for you if you can't do it my, yourself you buy, there are many accounting softwares online that you can use free ones and all that and I'm concerned this is your network there we need to we need to baptize it yeah <laughs> and then be disciplined control your expenditure don't just be buying for buying sake buy because you need the thing not because you want it you know there's this thing called gas g a s gas uh, gas gear acquisition syndrome don't just be buying because other people are buying don't buy because you saw it in my video that i'm using it so you need to buy no justify why you need to buy it is it worth it do you have to buy it can you live without it if yes don't buy it you get it that thing you're going to buy can you do you have to use it just once or do you use it, use it all the time i mean why do you buy gear that you are going to use maybe twice in a year it's it's better you rent it you know go rent it from somewhere you save more than buying it you buy if all the jobs you've been doing are for instagram uh, clients you don't need that uh, you don't need you don't need that uh, plenty thingy you see um i saw something um You guys are laughing at my 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 beard. I'll get you guys one by one. Okay, so learn to streamline your expenditure. Don't buy by heart. That's what's killing us as photographers. That's what is killing us. We buy and buy and buy. We continue buying. Every time money comes, we buy. You know, every time we are buying something. If your boyfriend is a photographer, please forgive him. He is addicted to buying. You know, he will. I don't remember the last time I bought a new shirt for myself. I don't remember the last time I changed my wardrobe. I bought footwear for myself. No, but if it's about photography, I will spend money on that. You get it? It's like an addiction. We always want to buy for the business. Yeah? So streamline your expenditure. Don't just spend, spend, spend because you have to spend. I beg you. Yeah? So what else? What else is there about this business thing that I haven't spoken about? What else haven't I spoken about? Okay, one more like, then we get 15 likes, and then I'll drop my question. Whoever gets it right, I'll send you your airtime right now. Right now. Yeah, so what is there? What is there that I haven't uh, spoken about? What? Or what do you want to know that I haven't said anything about? Hey, good Kelly, Charlie, how is it doing? Hey, how is it doing? What kind of English is that? How are you doing, man, Charlie? How is the lockdown treating you? Today, good Kelly is in my life. Wow. Good Kelly be big man, oh. Big time YouTuber. <laughs> These are the big men, Charlie. You see, every industry has big men, you know. When it comes to YouTube, we have our big men, and good Kelly is one of them. One of the big YouTubers in Ghana, Charlie. Yeah, man. Uh, William says, what genre of photography do you do? Hey, William, you can't do question and answer. This guy, uh, okay. So, as it is now, as I'm here now, I, I don't have one specific uh, genre. I have about three, three major ones that I can confidently say this is, uh, this is my field, you know. The first one is uh, portraiture. Even in portraiture, there's, you know, Minor, minor, minor fields, but I'll just generalize it. Portraiture. 
it can be fashion, um, beauty, you know, those kind of things. Portraiture. Second, wedding. Like, uh, let me see, yeah, wedding events. That kind of thing. Yeah. Then, I shoot nude also. So those three are the main aspects. William, you got it. Um, I says, I think personal branding and human relation is also important. Yes, I, you see, so now you tell us about personal branding and human relations. I think that's your field, right? So I, tell us about that. Yeah, tell us. What should we do? What should we do about that? Throw more light. Personal branding, as I said, I spoke about this in one of my videos on Tipsy Tuesday. How to, you know, groom yourself or something like this. Like on a normal day, you won't find me like this. I would have shaved, you know, neatly shaved and all that. Yes, that's me on a normal day. But because I'm in this situation, that's why I'm keeping my beard. Otherwise, this on a normal day. It's a no-no. I can't appear on a client's gig like this. I can't go shoot a wedding like this. Like most people will see me like I'm not serious and all that. So live and all that. The dress you wear, you know, it has to fit you. Not just wearing something because something, you know, personal grooming. I have a video on that. So you can watch it and then learn more from it. And then human relation is very, very important. How you carry yourself around your clients even around your other colleagues it's very very important Charlie some of us the way we even answer our phones the way we text and all that goes to tell a long story about us your client calls and you know you know that particular number is your business number so any call that comes could be you know a potential client and the way you pick it casually or rudely or something like that who push certain people off, you know. And there are people who are very, very keen on your manners. Like you pick a call and, yo, what's up? You buy. And that's their clients. And, you know, we have different types of clients. There are those who are very open. They don't mind. You can do anything, you know, talk anyhow. They are cool. They are down to earth. There are those that look out for all these minor, minor things. How you answer the call. How you reply your texts, you know, and all the how you answer questions. How long it takes you to text back or how long it takes you to reply your emails do you even check your emails at all and those things there are people clients who look out for all those things so if this person I call I have to call him five times before he picks once is that person business worthy you know they look at that if I text this guy at uh, 10 a.m. he replies at 10 p.m. that's 12 good hours after I text if I give him the money to do the job for me will he be able to deliver do i have to be chasing him around and all that some people think it's just normal that they will just blue tick you or they'll just keep your messages waiting until you know they feel they need to answer just to make you feel they are busy or something <laughs> something i can never do when you send your message as soon as i receive it i reply if i don't have an immediate response or let's say i'm busy at that time and i can't respond i will Tell you that, oh, kindly give me some time to check it and then get back to you. Simple. But you, you know, holding a message and not replying until you feel like you want to or that kind of thing. It goes a long way to tell the client about you. Yeah. Ice, what do you have to add? So I've said mine. What else do you guys have? If you have anything to add, please add it. And let's continue.
Okay. So still, no, nobody has any contribution or something. I don't like being the only one talking here. Because of the network, I can't add other people, you know, on the video. So if you guys are here, let's share your ideas via text if you can type or something. Okay, so we have 15. Am I seeing 15? Yo, uh, Vinny, if you are there, tell me how many likes are you seeing? Guys, if you're active here, just let me know how many likes do you see so that I can drop the first airtime. See, the phone is here. The phone is right here. This is my Momo phone. So if if you're ready, if we have the 15 so that sometimes the network can misbehave. So I don't know. Somebody tell me how many likes do we have? If it's 15, then I'll drop the first question. Then we can give out the first. Uh, okay, so Gilbert sees 14. Uh, I see is 14. Okay. All right. So when it's 15, somebody draw my attention. Hey, William, how? How do you see 16? People are seeing 14. You are seeing 16. Assemble Do you have ghosts on your <laughs> on your system? So if it gets to 15, let me know. So we drop the first at time. I'm 16. No, why? If I could screenshot, eh? Only if I could screen. I see Solomon. You also see 16. Oh wow. Hmm. I see. Okay, so two people see 14. I also see 14 here. So three of us are seeing 14, which means <laughs> it's still. 14 that we see so if you are here and you haven't dropped your thumbs up just like the video so you can get a 15 likes then we go ahead and give out the first batch of the airtime but for now if you have any contribution charlie drop it we are all learning we are learning from this whole thing yeah i'm also supposed to learn so you guys should teach me also first those who are now joining first of all register your business secondly have a bank account for your business Third thing, control your cash in and cash out. Keep record of your expenditure. Three, discipline, be disciplined. Discipline your financial um, things. Discipline yourself. Don't just be buying for buying's sake. Don't buy something because you think you need it. No, if you don't really need it, don't buy it. If it's something you're going to be using once a month, don't buy it. You can rent it out. You know, just go and rent it, use it for the job, return it. But if you're going to be using it for a longer period, then you can buy it. But Charlie, in, in a particular lens, you're going to be using it once, let's say, in every three months. Why do you spend so much money to buy it when you can just go rent it? You know, because I'm sure that lens, somebody has it. So you can just go, okay, all right, Kimvini, you see 17, I see 19 here. All of a sudden, the, the like has just... Uh, I jump 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 from 14 to 19 wow that's okay so first of all let's go let's the first question so if you're ready for the air time type ready if I see less than five ready from uh, uh, five different People, I need to see more than five readies from five different people. Then I'll drop the first question. Then, boom, we will go. If you're ready for the airtime, just type ready. Type ready and let's go. Okay, so I see one, two, three. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I see one, two, three. I see three redis. Four. Hey, Maoshi. Maoshi, how are you? How have you been? Eh? I know, Maoshi is mad at me because I took some pictures of her and those pictures never came out. 
See, they are on my hard drive somewhere. The thing is, I just can't pinpoint the exact hard drive. I've been going through my collections and all that. I still don't see the exact folder that has it. That day, I think I made a mistake and then saved it in, like, I added it to someone's folder. So I've been looking. Normally, I name the folders by name, people's name. But that day, I didn't save it in your name. I think it mistakenly got added to a different folder. Finding that folder now is a problem. Now she, so don't be mad at me, okay? Okay, so, uh, John Moore, greetings. You're looking like a biblical Israel. Yes, John Moore, look at my face. See, because of the lockdown, see how my face has become. Charlie, it's not easy. Oh, Maoshi. Oh, Maoshi is true. It's true. It's there. It's in, on one of my hard drives. See, this is one hard drive. There's another one here. There are two somewhere down there. See, I'm not lying. It's not long story, la. See, I'll find those pictures and I'll share you. You wait and see. It's been like two or three years now. Okay, so you guys are ready. Now, let's go. Let me ask the... Oh, Nyamada la Paola. True. I can't lie. You know, I'm a child of God. I don't lie. Okay, so the question is there. Mention two topics we discussed this evening so far concerning photography business. The first person to get it right gets five CDs worth of airtime from any network. Good luck. Good luck, may the best person win. My phone is ready. So if you get it. Oh, if, uh, Maoshi, if it is uh, <laughs> five CD Momo that you want to find, I'll get you five CDs Momo. <laughs> it's five CDs at a time. So if you want to convert it to mobile money to problem no day. So keep your answers coming. Keep your answers coming. The first person to get it right gets it. The first person. Ah, Maoshi, you are just joining. Then stay. It's left with five more likes. When we get 25 likes, the second question will come. So just make sure you're around when we get uh, 25 likes. So just five more likes and the second question comes. Um, keep your answers coming. Um, somebody says what? Registering business and opening bank accounts. I says account handling and ah is the end part of the discussion. <laughs> Gilbert says how to make good use of your money. Ah, Gilbert, I said two and you've given one. I says oh, I said the exam will come. See now, <laughs> hey William, behave. You're a proper student. <laughs> you need to register for business uh, account handling and discipline. Hey, ice. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, 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 okay. I think we have a winner. So, the first person to send in. Now, let me show you guys so that nobody will say I'm biased. So, from the time I sent the questions. You see, from the time I sent the question, the first answer that came is William. And he said, registering business and opening bank accounts. They are, those two are valid. So, William, congratulations. You just got yourself five CDs worth of airtime. If we are already connected on WhatsApp, 
send me the number and the network that I'm supposed to send it to. Otherwise, if you are not, just look for me on Instagram, Ghana Near Photography. DM me with proof that it is you. Yeah? Ah, tell you, behave, okay? Behave. Good evening, Telly. How are you doing? Um, Alex, me, did you? Oh, Charlie, Alex, can we be a mood? I I gave a disclaimer in the beginning that nobody should think I'm high or something. I'm not high. I don't even smoke. You see, not even a cigarette or nothing. I don't smoke. You but. It's because I've been behind my machine. For the past three days, I haven't stepped out. I've been working on videos. I know I'm doing this uh, 31 days of Capture One. So I've recorded the videos and I've been editing them for the past three days. So that's how come my eyes look like. And my eyes are generally small. So I've been in this for the past three days like that. So I beg, it's not because <laughs> I've smoked or something. It's because of the glasses and me using the the screen and all that so william uh oh uh, uh cassie the first one is gone so now we are looking for 25 likes when i get 25 likes the second one so william won the first one he got them correct so we'll go on to the second question when we get to 25 likes so keep your likes coming if you just joined don't forget to drop your likes if you're using a phone just close the chat press the thumbs up and then you can join the chat again yeah okay so william you sent me whatsapp eh all right let me see let me check it uh let me check it Uh, William, William, William. Okay, so William, I have your test. Which number? Just, uh, William, text me. Which number and uh, network should I send to you? Which number and network? Tell, uh, tell you, I'm doing fine, yeah? Yeah, Telly, you've missed a lot. You've missed a lot, but we're almost at uh, 25. It's now 21 likes. So when we get to 25, I'll drop the second question. Then we can give out the air time. So to recap all that we've discussed, first of all, you need to register your business. And these things I have said are not just for photographers. They are for any you know entrepreneur. Anybody who wants to become an entrepreneur, anybody, maybe you're already an entrepreneur, but you don't know these things. First of all, you need to register your company. It will make it legit. People want to deal with a registered body instead of uh, like uh, a private person. If I want to employ your services and I know that you are registered, I know I can trace you, I can look for you, maybe you've taken the next step to be legit. Fine, that's better. I would prefer doing that than dealing with an individual person. Secondly, if I need to pay you, let's say 5,000 cities or 10,000, and you ask me to meet you with it physically and pay, I won't do business with you. So if you have your bank statement, no, I said bank, if you have a bank account, you send me your bank or your Momo number, fine, I'll do that. Then thirdly, this is for your own good. You should, you should, uh, you should keep track of your money, cash in, cash out, keep track of it. You bab. Fourth, you should be disciplined. Learn to spend your money wisely. Don't just spend because you have to spend. No, there should be reason. You know, um, William says the twenty-five likes there. Yeah, unless I create new Gmail, <laughs> I've already used five. Hey, hey, five. Hey, Charlie, William, you be criminal, oh. Hey, William, you are a very, very big criminal. So, William, I'm still waiting. You send me your the number that I should send the airtime to and then the the network 
Okay, so I should send to the to Vodafone. All right, I'm doing it right away. Copy. I use Express Pay, so I'm going to use Express Pay to send you your airtime. William, I'm sending you your airtime right away. We don't do Kululu here. Once you, yeah, tell you. Bad network, dear. Bad network, dear, Charlie. It's everywhere. All right, so William, I'm sending you your Vodafone thingy. Um, next amount five Ghana. Next P. William, be prepared. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. All right, William, you should get your you should get your airtime now. See confirmation that I've sent it via Express Pay. So you should get it any moment from now. Yeah. Cheers. So William, once you get it, please confirm. Oh, that was quick. Oh. <laughs> That was quick. Okay, we have 22 likes. Three more likes and we'll give I want to... See, for the past two days, I haven't given uh, the 10 CDs out. So we have... We want you guys... Somebody sponsored it. 50 CDs worth of airtime. Somebody, you know, saw what I was doing and said, oh, I want to give out 50 CDs. Add it to whatever you have and then give it out to them. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm not going to use even one CD out of it. It's for you guys. So just, you know, participate and then win it. Yibab, Santa. Yeah, see how I bear this guy. Moses. So, three more thumbs up, and then we'll give the second one out. Okay. Next one, next one, next one. The next one, child, I want to give out this airtime. I don't want to keep it again. So three more likes and then we are done. Yes, so we've exhausted today's um, topic that's what i had to say too bad i'm the only one talking because of poor network i can't add other people to the live but charlie we manage like that until you know things uh, get settled so tell me what do you have to add like we are talking about uh, the business part of photography you know it can be branding um financial aspects uh grooming and all that if you have anything to say hmm all righty looks like i'll be taking my at time today to see the way you dress really matters you know dress nice be neat use perfume if you can afford it use but deodorant is a must everybody must use deodorant shall I spray you need it very very necessary hmm? Okay, so Ata Edu says, since you are my role model, anything you buy, I will buy. No, 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 no. Edu say, it is not like that. Eh? Edu say, it is not like that. Don't just buy anything because somebody has bought it. No, you should buy because you need it. Eh? 
You should buy it because you need it, not because your other colleagues are buying it. You know, up to now, I don't have an AD600. I've always said I'll buy it, but I don't have it. Others are buying, but what I have now gives me what I need. So why should I go and buy because other people have it? You go to certain studio. See, if you go to Seller Studio, eh, Seller has everything. Well, anytime I get there, like, I get confused. So I ask him to always do the setup for me. Anytime I get there, like, Seller, this is what I want. Then he will do the setup for me because my studio hasn't got that much equipment. When I go to his place, I get overwhelmed. You get it? Uh -huh. So it's not about getting everything that your friends have. No. Buy what you need. And then save money for rainy days. You bab. Uh Telly says, please can you summarize everything you spoke about? I was late. In terms of grooming, hundred percent agree with discipline. Yes. Okay, so telly, what we spoke about, one, you should have a registered uh, company, register your business, whatever it is, whether sole proprietorship, limited liability, um, partnership, whatever it is, make sure your business is registered. Two. Make sure you have a bank account for your business. Separate your personal finance from your business finance. Never mix the two. Three, keep records of your cash inflow and outflow. Whatever you spend on the business, keep record. Whatever money comes through the business, keep record. Four, be disciplined. Don't just buy nyafu nyafu. Don't just be using your money. Don't just be using your money nyafu nyafu to be, you know, don't be using your money nyafu nyafu. Don't just be using your money nyafu nyafu. If you go and gig and money comes and that girl says, Honey, I need that shoe on Instagram. Tell her, Look, I also need a salt box. I'm going to buy the salt box. <laughs> when she says she wants uh, pizza from Papa's Pizza, tell her, Charlie, that's uh, Hendrik Ghana. You can use it to buy flash. So she should relax. You know, business is business. Invest in your business unless that girl is part of your business. Eh? Unless she's contributing to your business, don't spend on her. Please, nobody should come and fight me. I beg you. Um, AJ says, since uh, you're my role model, anything you buy, AJ, please, I beg you. Eh? Me power chop. <laughs> don't do that. It's not good. Don't buy because I buy. Eh? You don't know my finances. ABI, I have some loose money somewhere. That's why I use it to buy. ABI, you, it's your last money. Maybe that thing I'm buying, I need it every week. Every weekend I'll be using it. That's why I bought it. But you might need it maybe a, once every three months. You don't need to buy it. You can come and rent it from me so that I'll make extra money, <laughs> you know. And then you also not spend, you know, money that you don't have. You buy. Sometimes it's better to rent something. Let's say um, you're going to shoot, you shoot one wedding every, uh, every month. You shoot one wedding. You need a macro lens, right? It'd be a 105 or 90 or 100 mm macro lens. But you need it just once every month. And you spend like 3000 to go and buy a macro lens. Meanwhile, if you go rent that macro lens, you rent it for 100 cities. So you look at it, every month you're renting a lens for 100 cities. The whole year, once a month, how much are you going to? You're going to spend 1000 to rent it. Uh, no, you're going to pay thousand two to rent it twelve times in the year. Now compare it to using three thousand to buy it, and you get it. Compare thousand five to three thousand, you would have saved, you know, like half of that money by not buying it. Hey, Tim, Timmy, oh, Timmy, I mentioned your name, and here you are, eh, Tim. I mentioned your name today. I mentioned your name here, and here you are. I quoted you something you said, you know, something I heard you say when I started this whole thing, and I quoted you, and here you are, Child, guys. This is the guy I was talking about, Tim. That is him. Eh? <laughs> Child, this is my thing. The see, I need a clip out, but how to go to Malcolm to get it now? That's a problem. Mm? I don't have a clip. I don't have scissors. I don't have anything to cut this thing. I can't go to the barber shop as you guys know. And hey, Tim is here. Tim is here. Tim is here. Tim, one of these these days, maybe when the lockdown is over, I'll come to your house. I'll carry my setup, everything, come to your house. Then we'll go live from your house. You're going to be the one sitting here in front here talking to my people. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, there is five cities more of airtime to give out to. So if you want me to give it out, now we have 22 likes. When we get to 25 likes, 
the second airtime will be dropped so if you want it just get us to 25 likes i want to give it before i go now my thing is done i'm done teaching i'm just waiting for you guys to get it to 25 then i can give out the five cities at time if you don't want me to give it out to fine i can i can i can take it back you know i can take it back i won't load it though but i'll, I'll take it back you know <laughs> okay team says don't worry the new look is not bad we can do a live session together <laughs> yes team has afro <laughs> if you see team said eh, it's afro like it's no afro man that's how team is like he has big afro you know and everything like that's why he's okay with my look but i'm not used to this so team this one the uh, nla i have to take it off as soon as this lockdown is over i'm going to shave if i i even want to do sakura like i don't know how it will look like but i want to do sakura within this lockdown you know but i have to go to malcolm to go and buy the clipper and i'm actually i'm real i'm feeling reluctant Moving from here all the way to flower pots, just to go and buy a clipper and come. Okay, I say uh, when it comes to advertising and promotions, which uh, genre appeals your audience most? I think wedding photos are quite difficult to promote for your brand. Um, Ice, Tim here does mostly weddings. Okay? Timothy does weddings and he's very, very successful. I need to go, you know, sit down with him so that he gives me a pop. Tim, will you do that for me? I, would, I need to sit down with you so you give me a pop on how to, you know, because my wedding page, people end up tagging us rather, like thinking it's a, a wedding uh, post page where they tag us and we repost their weddings for them, which is very bad. Ice manages that uh, page. That's why she's saying that. Charlie, it's very, very hard, man. Okay, when it comes to branding, which appeals your audience more? I think wedding photos are. Yeah, Ice. After the lockdown, I'll go to Timmy. I'll go there with uh, some coffee and all that, you know. <laughs> then we'll sit down and talk about it. So, Tim is from uh, Team 1000 Words. If you guys have heard of that, let me type it here so you see. Team 1000words.com So, that's uh, Tim Ade. That's him. The man behind Team 1000 Words. So you guys can check him out. He's not a social media person. <laughs> you know, once I was at his studio, I was like, Charlie, you guys, <laughs> I'm not a social media person. And it's true. You know, they have been in the, you know, industry for long. Team, it was just recently that I got to know that, you know, Stella was once with you guys as Blue Shutter. Hey, did I let it out? <laughs> Stella, forgive me, but it was just recently I got to know that Stella was one of the Team 1000 guys. I was like, Wow. Sela, big ups, man. Uh -huh. Hey, I see 24 likes here. Vinny, what do you see? Tell me, how many likes do you see? I see 24. I see 24 thumbs up. I see 24 thumbs up. So I'm preparing... I'm preparing I'm preparing the question. Okay, I see 25 now. So the question. The question. Okay, so I need six readies. If I see six people typing ready, I'll drop the question. If I see... Hey, hey, Loretta. Hey, Loretta is right here for the airtime. Ah, uh, Sebo, Loretta, you, you must be having some charms <laughs> or something. Yeah, Loretta, I know, I know, I know. Moses, Abraham, Moses, Aaron, all three put together. And I'm going to see Jacob. <laughs> okay, I see one ready. Two. Hey, I see two ready. Three. Hey, William. You can't take part two. You've won one already. <laughs> hey, William. You cannot take part. Hey, Timothy. You two are ready. 
<laughs> Problem. Eh, uh, team, you're also ready, eh? Yeah? Okay, Loretta, welcome, eh? Loretta, welcome, pa. All right, guys, are you ready? If you are ready, question one. No, this is question two. Okay, so question two is here, and uh, start work. You, you, you. The question is here. You, you, you. Whoever gets it right. You, you, you. Hey, Loretta, behave. Behave. Don't screenshot it. Eh? Behave, okay? People are now seeing they're ready. <laughs> this question, I'm not sure anybody will get it right. I'm not sure anybody will get this question right. <laughs> Loretta says this question is not normal. <laughs> Problem. 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 Hey, keep your answers coming. Keep your answers coming, eh? Team says what? 5.6. 1 over 200. I said 200. Team, what's it? You have taper. <laughs> Those are not my settings. Those are not my settings. If I say this question, it's a shame to the Ghanaian staff <laughs> if we can't answer. <laughs> hey, hey. Let's see who can get it right. This question, yeah, with three questions. You can't use one setting. Eh, so I said what? My commonly used settings so give me a range or give me what you know i use so charlie just give me something if you really follow me you really follow my live session my shoots and then my retouching anytime i retouch an image i give uh, i i give <laughs> i give details of the image i shot every time every image i retouch i give details you see so if you don't have it, then problematic. <laughs> Team, that's not. I don't. I, have, I don't use these settings. I don't go to two hundredth of a second. Nah. Hardly do I go to ISO two hundred when I'm in the studio. <laughs> nah. Okay. 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 Stop. Stop work. Stop work. So yes, Vinny. You're right. In my studio, hardly will you see me going anywhere except ISO 100. F8, yes. I use F8 most of the time. And then the shutter, shutter speed, 160th. You're right. You're right. Charlie, Vinny is right. Ah... <laughs> uh, so Vinny got it. Vinny got it right. So Vinny, congratulations. Just send me details. Send hey AJ, what are you typing? No, 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 no. AJ, this one the objection. <laughs> AJ objection. Who is feeding you? <laughs> me? I beg me, step aside. <laughs> Hey, AJ, how, that 1 over 200 that you typed, what does it mean? <laughs> you have to explain your answer. <laughs> hey, AJ, 
No, 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 no. Knee is, knee is feeding you. Aha, you see, so William, something like this, you're close, you know, between F5 and then 8, you're close. I saw 100, yes, but the shutter speed, I've never gone to 100. Vinny got it right. It's always 1 over 160. Ibab. Send me your number and then the network so that I can. Today I'm doing it right here. So send them to me so I can. Hey, AJ. Hey, AJ Pa, I see 160. <laughs> Please, uh, Laura, find out who is using AJ's phone or who is using AJ's account. Now, what AJ is typing there, I need her to explain <laughs> what <laughs> she understands by those things. Eh, you see, ah, somebody is typing for Angel. Angel, somebody is typing into your account. Wallahi. Because <laughs> this is not your handwriting. <laughs> eh? AJ, this is not your handwriting, please. Hey. <laughs> okay, so we have our two winners. Vinny. Okay, okay, alright. So Vinny has sent me the number he wants me to send to. So let me do it right away. Today, as I said, I'm not going to withhold anybody's uh, airtime. So I'll do it right away. Copy. Uh, it says what? MTN. Okay. Where is Express Pay? I'm sending it right away. Express pay. Uh, MTN. MTN prepaid. Add new number. Paste. Next. Fixed amount. Five CDs. Next. Pay. Okay, Vinny. If you have it. Any moment from now, let me enter my pin. Boom. Confirm. Boom. Now let's see. Awesome. So Vinny, it's been sent. So second person today to win the airtime. Your airtime has been sent. Cheers. Cheers, man. So you see, two people. I've gotten their airtime to Ajay. And life is good. We are good. <clears throat> okay, Vinny. Thanks, thanks. So, guys, this is where we end tonight's uh, broadcast. Team, I'll look for you. And we need to sit down and have that talk. I'll come with coffee. AJ, whoever is feeding you, eh? <laughs> Tell the person to explain those numbers to you because they are not just they are not just numbers. <laughs> ah, look at oh okay, so you people thought this was the this is not my picture. I didn't shoot um, this image. Eh? No, me AJ didn't win, no, we beg. <laughs> uh, I don't shoot one over two hundred, please. I always shoot 1 over 160. And my ISO is always 100. Sometimes 100, yeah. Ah, uh, you see, okay, I know what AJ did. She went to take the uh, one picture from the maternity shoot. <laughs> <Her knee. laughs> you and your wife, you are criminals. <laughs> Laura, you see what they did? They went to the, this thing, the maternity pictures that we shot. So they went to pick the info from that <laughs> one of those <laughs> images. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, William, this is fun. You know, work and happiness. We learn and then we have fun also. Charlie, life is too short. So yes, it was Vinny who had it correct, you know, first. Even if AJ got it right, she was second. So AJ, better luck next time. And tomorrow, we'll do it again and then <laughs> we'll give out the airtime. So... Make sure you're here tomorrow for uh, day 18. Yeah, tomorrow will be day 18. Charlie, we've been in this lockdown for some time. Well, I just pray 
you know, they don't announce uh, any more extension. Otherwise, some of us see see how I'm looking. Imagine one more week in this. Charlie, I will die. I will die. I need to go out and go and shave, man. At least let me go and get the the clipper so that I can shave myself. I just come here. Then, you know, I can trim it and all that. You have... All right. So, guys, thanks for being part of this. We will be back here again tomorrow, 8 p.m., to continue this. Oh, if you're wondering how, you know, I'm well lit, like this. I'm using my uh, laptops. My Mac, It's not a laptop. It's a MacBook. I'm using my MacBook's webcam. And I'm using this light. I got this light when I bought something from AliExpress. See, this is the light I'm using. This small light. It's normally put on your phone as a selfie light. That's what I'm using. See, it's powered by USB. So I can take out, see now it's fully charged. So you can use it without plugging it. You just charge it and all that. So I think yeah, I can now take out this charger. And this is it, as small as it is. So that's what, this is even one. This is the first power. If I raise it to the second power, see how, ah, I'm going blind. See, see how very powerful it is. See, this is the highest. See, very, very powerful. And then this is the lowest. See, oh, and in case you are wondering, this is me without the light. See how nasty it looks. You see? Um, Vinny, I didn't buy it. I bought something and they dashed it to me. The Chinese people, you know, those people, they are very good. When you buy, they give you gifts. So this came with it. I don't know how much they sell it, but you can check it on AliExpress. They have different types. They have the ring one, the one that, you know, acts like a ring. So you see, this is me without the light. And this is the first power. So I'm using just the first power, which is very, very strong. See? And it makes a difference. You know, photography is all about light. If your light is good, Charlie, your visuals will also be... So see how well lit I am. And because it's close to me, so the first power is okay. If I put it on the second one, Charlie, I'll go blind. Yeah, so you can check it on AliExpress after COVID-19. So that you can... Now, I'm not sure if you... If you, um, I mean, it's locked down, so how will you even get it? So you shouldn't even order now. Wait, when the whole thing is down, then you can place your order. You bab. It's very necessary. Especially for those who like taking selfies or videos of themselves, dancing and all that. Yeah, man. So, yes, we've come to tonight's, um, we've come to the end of tonight's edition. And we will end here and continue tomorrow. So, as usual, 60 seconds. If you have something to say, say it before we go off. So, I'll turn the mic off. And I'll still be here for the next 60 seconds. In case you want to type something, you want to ask a question or something, you can do that.